Enforcement Directorate heat is mounting by the day on actor Jacqueline Fernandez. If the agency that's investigating the matter made a sensational claim that Jacqueline Fernandez tried to flee the country in December 2021. The actor rubbishes allegation asserting she respects law and order and fleeing abroad is not on her mind. Now, the Delhi court also pulled up the ED asking if it does have all the evidence against her with these claims. Then, if they have the evidence, why is she still free? Here's more about is trouble brewing for Jacqueline. Big heat on actor Jacqueline Fernandez intensifies. Conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar's 200 crore rupee extortion racket haunts the actor. During the hearing on the actor's bail petition in the Patiala House Court in Delhi on Thursday, the Enforcement Directorate made fresh allegations. The central agency told the court that the actor tried to flee the country in December 2021. The probe agency claimed Jackie spent 7.15 crore rupees on herself and has the potential to flee again. The actor rubbished the enforcement directorate's charges and stated she has no intention of fleeing the country. Jacqueline added that she's done nothing wrong and respects rule of law. The actor claimed innocence and highlighted that she herself had surrendered in the extortion case. On the grounds that Jacqueline Fernandez is a flight risk, the enforcement directorate opposed the regular bail application filed by the actor. However, the court came down heavily on the ED officials saying that why didn't they chose to arrest her earlier. Now on Friday, the court will decide whether to grant regular bail to Jacqueline Fernandez or whether she should be sent to jail. The Delhi court slammed the enforcement directorate asking if the probe agency has all the evidence against Jacqueline, why is she still roaming free? The court has reserved an order on the actor's bail plea. Bureau Report, India Today. I don't read the news. I read between the lines to tell you the true version of events. The true story of our times. To document grief, the toughest assignment for any journalist to be. From those who matter. Women politicians going to stick up for each other. Of those who should matter. I document the truth. I don't distort the truth. I don't glamorize the truth. I don't gloss over the truth. The ghosts of India's contentious medieval history have come knocking again. I hustle for the truth, on the ground, in the newsroom, in the I studio. I don't try to grab eyeballs. I inform you to make you see the point. To the point with Preeti Chaudhary. At these times, only on India Today.